2020 continues to be a very busy year for Easter egg hunters. And before we dive into the onslaught of titles coming our way from the end of October onwards, I figured it was about time we checked out another collection of some of the more amusing, wacky and craziest secrets and discoveries that have been found this year in video games, as this is the Easter Egg Hunter. Our first Easter eggs today all come to us thanks to Crow Team's Sirius Sam 4, which as always brings with it an utterly explosive story, intense continuous action-packed carnage and typical one-liners. Plus, if you're into Easter eggs then there are plenty along the way and here are just a few of my favourites. For starters, I absolutely love secret deaths in video games. Dumbass. And in Chapter 2 there is a side mission to help the Italian resistance up on a rooftop. Though once that is complete and instead of heading back down the staircase to continue on with the main objective, why don't you just take some time out to hell yourself off the roof instead? So be it. Let your will be done. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker. In chapter 4, and not long after starting, you'll be able to grab this sniper rifle, which at this point, if you look towards the top of the volcano and take out the enemy resting there, you will activate this rather strange easter egg. There's this Assassin's Creed reference in Chapter 10 at the quarry. And in the same chapter and after reaching the town, you should seek out the stadium. Welcome to the Football Glory Tournament, starring... Crow team versus Crow team! Crash Bandicoot. At last, I, the great Neocortex, have you right where I want you? And now the final blow! <laughs> Next up, it's Crash Bandicoot 4. It's just like serious Sam 4. It also has a large collection of secrets, Easter eggs, and references, including nods to Crash 1, 2, and 3, Crash Team Racing, Fake Crash. And even Spyro the Dragon. But for those of you that enjoy your memes, then this next one is for you. As when you reach the level a hole in space, Crash will have to jump through a door leading to an interdimensional mini stage and where there is a surprise for anyone who manages to collect all 18 pieces of fruit. When Season 5 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare turned up, it brought with it the new multiplayer map of livestock, home of cattle sheds, outbuildings, stables, hay bales, veg pots, machinery, and a place you would typically expect to see some animals. But instead, and oddly, there are four pairs of hidden teddy bears, which if you destroy each pair at the exact same moment by working with a friend or teammates, or by using C4 for those of you that are working solo, then this will activate a rather weird secret. Team Deathmatch. 
Enemy threats in the AO. Weapons hot. But if you're after something a little more crazier, then let's roll forward to Season 6, which released just the other day, bringing with it another new map named Station, a rather small location, but home to a rather large easter egg, and which can be seen by smashing six decorative features surrounding the Station platform. Team Deathmatch. Here they come. Attack! Yeah, next up we are looking in on Mediatonic's online battle royale title, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. The game where jelly beans get dressed up in silly costumes and 60 players battle it out across many different types of stages to become the champion and is like something straight out of Takeshi's castle. Anyway, it was back on the 16th of September when Princess T over on Twitter discovered something rather odd and they tweeted at the Fall Guys team saying that they thought they had broken the game and provided several screenshots of many jelly beans laying on the floor. And on the very same day, the Fall Guys Twitter account replied saying, I gotta confess something. We put in a secret feature where hundreds of Mediatonic Jelly Bean guys spawn in at the start of the level. It's a very low probability. Most of you won't get to see it. We just wanted to give ourselves a cheeky shout out. And before we continue, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Princess T for not only allowing me to use the screenshots they posted, but for also providing me links to other users who encountered this rare secret. And you can find links to Princess T's Twitter page and Twitch channel within the description. And the same goes for Lulu McAllister on Twitter and co-owner of Two Mind Studio, who is extremely kind in allowing me to use this upcoming footage of the Easter egg in action. 